Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Ta. Uh, welcome to my perfect cooking system. Uh, I love fajita, but I'm not a fan of uh, sour cream and cheese. I, I really enjoy tortillas, and I've been looking for a, a different way to eat them. And I have been thinking about a vegetarian fajita for some time. Uh, I have some onion, zucchini, yellow squash, and cherry tomato from the summer garden. And together with uh, some cauliflower and portobello mushroom, I have created this vegetarian fajita. Uh, I have used hoisin sauce, sriracha sauce, instead of sour cream, cheese, and salsa to garnish the fajita. Uh, I have made two dishes for this meal. The first dish is a portobello onion stir fry in wine sauce that takes one and a half minutes to make. Uh, I then create another dish as a filling for the fajita that contains onion, zucchini, yellow squash, cauliflower, and cherry tomatoes. Uh, together, this meal takes about a little bit over six minutes in cooking time. Uh, the first dish I'm going to cook is the onion and mushroom stir fry. I first saute one tablespoon of uh, minced garlic in two tablespoons of canola oil. I then add one cup of chopped red onion and stir fry it for about 15 seconds. Uh, I then add two cups of thinly sliced portobello mushroom and stir fry it for another 20 seconds. I next add one tablespoon of uh, rice cooking wine and cook it for about 30 seconds. Uh, you can use regular wine as well, and I would recommend white dry wine. Uh, you will notice that the mushrooms suck up the wine readily. Uh, I always add the wine near the end of the cooking, uh, allow the maximum flavor of the wine in the mushroom. Uh, the dish is ready to serve, and the cook time is 1 minute 30 seconds. Uh, I next cook the vegetable medley filling for the uh, fajita, and uh, I use 5 different kinds of vegetables. Again, I start saute 1 tablespoon of minced garlic in 2 tablespoons of canola oil. Uh, I then add a quarter cup of minced onion and saute it for about 15 seconds. Uh, I then add 2 cups of cauliflower florette that has been cut to a relatively small size, somewhere between 1 to 1.5 inch. Uh, in order for the fillings uh, to be easier to be wrapped uh, in the tortillas, I cut them smaller than what I usually do in my cooking. Uh, I did the same for the zucchini and yellow squash. As you can see, by cutting the ingredient differently, uh, it changed the characteristics of the dish of how it is eaten and how it is served. Uh, at this point, I add one cup of zucchini. I then follow by adding one cup of yellow squash. Uh, I then stir fry the content for 30 seconds to make sure everything gets a little bit fried. Uh, next, I add one egg cup of water uh, to steam the vegetables. Uh, I stir regularly to mix the content for about 20 seconds to make sure all ingredients are evenly cooked. And now it comes time for me to season the dish. Uh, one tablespoon of mushroom seasoning, one quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper, one eighth teaspoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one eighth teaspoon of ginger powder. Uh, I add more water uh, to the wok as needed to continue steaming until the desired texture uh, has been reached. Uh, lastly, I add 10 cherry tomatoes that just come in from the garden. Uh, you can skip it if you do not like tomatoes. Uh, after a few stir, I sprinkle 1 teaspoon of cornstarch to thicken the sauce. Uh, this will make the content less runny when I add it to the tortillas and make it easier to eat. Uh, after mixing in the cornstarch and thicken the sauce, the dish is ready to serve, and the cook time is 4 minutes 30 seconds. Uh, I also chop up some fresh cucumbers and uh, fresh tomatoes to garnish the tortillas to give it an added freshness. I find that adding some hoisin sauce and sriracha sauce to the tortillas uh, give it a fusion approach. Uh, this added uh, Asian style uh, give it an alternative to the Mexican style of this traditional fajitas. Uh, you will find the full recipe of this meal uh, below the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep on cooking for a better self and a better world. Uh, if you would like to learn more about my perfect cooking system, uh, please see the introductory video uh, on the left. 
And if you would like to receive a notification of my latest posting on my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe to it by press the Walk With Pop logo on the right. Or you can press the red subscribe buttons below.